Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm sharing 10 fantastic setting powder options for those of you with mature skin, no matter what your skin type is. Just because we're over 35, 45, 55, 65, whatever your age is, it doesn't mean your skin is automatically dry. You could have oily combination skin. Setting powder can be a little bit more of a struggle when we're not in our 20s or early 30s anymore. I get shiny in my T-zone, but I can get surface dehydration and little flakies and I I am very dry under my eyes. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a setting powder option or several options that will work for you. Now this first one was in last year's video, but a lot of these were not. I think it's important to update you on what I am liking at this point in time because I test out a lot of things. My favorites change for various reasons. It doesn't mean I don't like things that I talk about pretty often. I just am pretty brutal with these favorites videos and something has to win out. So this one just keeps staying in here year after year. This is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. This is $39 for 0.52 ounces. There are two shades. I'm in the shade Translucent. Now this was one of the very first mattifying powders that I could use both on my face to control my shine that I could also use underneath my eyes. Typically when I would use a mattifying powder on my face, I always had to use something else underneath my eyes because I am dry underneath my eyes and mattifying powders would just emphasize that dryness and texture. This is a very lightweight, finely milled powder. It minimizes the pores and just gives a nice airbrush look to the face. It minimizes my shine during the day, which goes along with the name, long time no shine, but it also looks beautiful underneath the eyes, which is a really hard task to accomplish for a mattifying powder if you have dry under eyes. So this just stays in my rotation so far. I mean, ever since I discovered it, it's been a favorite. So I think I'm just gonna alternate high-end and drugstore and just mix it up that way. I'm gonna move forward with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder that I discovered somewhat recently and I've really been loving and using pretty frequently. This is $11.99, there are nine shades. Now I have the shade 120 Fair. There is a translucent shade, which I probably would have picked up had it been in stock when I decided to try this because I prefer any setting powder I use to be translucent. So sometimes I will just pick up the lightest shade that I can because it does give that translucent look. And you'll see that moving forward in this video as well. This is vegan, cruelty-free, and talc-free. So it has great things going for it right off the bat. So instead of talc, it has tapioca and aloe vera powder, which is what helps absorb that shine. I find that this looks really natural on the skin and gives a blurred effect, a soft matte finish. It looks great both on the face and under the eyes. It's light weight. It's not cakey. It just doesn't look like powder. I picked this up on a whim. I've been pleasantly surprised by it. This has ranked up there with my favorites, obviously, because it's in this video. I kind of feel like I can't stop talking about it, and it's for good reason. I also like the packaging, too. It's just kind of cute. I don't know. I'm kind of a sucker for pink, which has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of the powder, but I do love what's inside. I like what it does for my skin. Anything that flatters both my face and under my eyes. Plus, it's portable and under $12. Let's go to another long-standing favorite in most people's top favorite lists. I kind of feel like no matter what other powders people gravitate towards, this one just sticks around. And it, it's the same for me too. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. This is $45 for 0.28 ounces. There are four shades and I'm in the shade Fair because it appears translucent on my skin. I don't like my setting powders to have a tint because I don't want the color of my makeup underneath to be altered. This just looks stunningly beautiful on the under eye area. It just smooths the skin and the pores as well, just beautifully. It's a really ultra fine powder. I mean, that's why they call it airbrushing. It's also got nourishing ingredients in it and it's great for any skin type. There's a reason why a lot of people with dry skin really love this powder because it looks beautiful on the skin and it just doesn't give a powdery finish. It has light diffusing particles that blurs imperfections and it kind of diffuses those fine lines. I would say this gives a soft velvety matte finish. It's very thin. Like I said, it doesn't look like powder. I think if you have oily 
oily skin, this might not be the powder for you because it's not going to control your shine for a long time like some of the mattifying powder, mattifying powders in this list, but it's a stunningly beautiful powder. It just looks gorgeous on the face and under the eyes. It's very thin, very natural looking, and there's a reason why it just stays in people's favorites list. This, in my opinion, is a completely underrated powder, and yet I bring it up in these lists a lot because I feel like it needs more recognition. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. This is $14 for 0.3 ounces. I'm in the shade Porcelain, and there are eight shades. This is similar to the Charlotte Tilbury and other powders that you'll see in this video in that the shade Porcelain appears translucent on my light medium skin. They say that this has next generation blurring pigments that give this ambient glow to the skin. Now, I just think this is a really beautiful blurring powder, kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. I have said that this was a dupe in the past. It sets my makeup beautifully. It blurs the pores. It looks beautiful under the eyes. It minimizes imperfections. I almost feel like it mattifies a little bit longer than the Charlotte Tilbury. I love Flower Beauty as a brand. I love this powder. I think it's a great drugstore option, and Flower Beauty is available at Ulta now. This is another one that just keeps staying in my, my top powder list because it's just so good. This is a new addition to my top favorite powders list, and it's one of my top, top favorite powders that I discovered this year. I can't stop reaching for it. I think it's stunning, and I'm actually quite shocked because it doesn't claim to be mattifying. This is the Gucci setting powder. There is a fancy name for this, which I will put in the description box down below. I'll have all the products linked for you as well as what I'm wearing as usual. This is $62 for 0.35 ounces. There are 11 shades, and I am in the shade zero one, again, one of the lightest shades so that it appears translucent. Now, if it's possible to look even more natural than the Charlotte Tilbury powder under the eyes and on the face, this accomplishes that. I cannot get over how undetectable this is. I've said before in videos that I've applied this to the face and I've actually wondered if I was actually getting the powder on my skin, yet it sets my makeup beautifully and it keeps me shine free, but it does not look like powder. It's just kind of magical that way. It blurs, it smooths, it gives a beautiful natural finish to the skin. This, in my opinion, is great for any skin type. They just started cutting the grass next door, so I'm just gonna have to talk a little bit louder. Sorry about that. I'm so picky with luxury products because I want them to be really good, and this one accomplishes that. I'm so happy with it. Now, one thing I will say is that there is a subtle expensive scent to this. I can smell it as I'm sitting right here, but after I apply it to the skin, I don't notice it. If you like the Charlotte Tilbury, I think you'll love this. I feel like this one is the odd one of the bunch, and you'll see why here in a minute. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. This is $7.99 for 0.29 ounces. There are 24 shades, and I am in the shade 100 Translucent. This is actually known to be really great for normal to oily skin, although I do know some dry skin people who really like this powder too. This does a really great job of absorbing oil and mattifying the skin, blurring the pores, and just just keeping you shine free for a good amount of time. This is probably the one powder in this whole bunch that I would not recommend for under the eyes though. If you have any dryness or texture underneath your eyes, I feel like it can emphasize some texture underneath my eyes, but if you're wanting a drugstore powder or a powder that you can travel with that really does set your makeup well, specifically if you have normal to oily skin and you're not excessively dry or textured underneath your eyes, I think this is a really great option. So I wanted to put it in this video because it's just worked really well for me, especially in my hot and humid climate for controlling shine during the day. And I know I have some oily people that watch my videos, so I, I, I wanted to put this in here. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This is $34 for 0.71 ounces. There are eight shades and I am in the shade Pound Cake. This is very finely milled. Now I don't bake with this. I know that was kind of the intent with this when it first came out, but I just don't think that does good things for my under eye area. I use this the same as I do any other setting powder. This is great for my under eye area as well as on my face. I think I was kind of scared to try this at first because I thought it was just gonna be a disaster under 
my eyes, but it's actually really nice under the eyes as well as on the face. It blurs and smooths. This is one of the most flattering powders on my face that actually controls my shine for a long period of time in, in hot weather. It works well under my eyes too. So I've really been enjoying this and I feel like the shade works really well. So if you've been hesitant on this, you might want to try it. I mean, you might not like some of the powders that I'm liking here. Skin is so individual, but these all work really well for me. And I think there's, you know, something here for a variety of skin types for sure. This is the number seven perfect light loose setting powder. Now I do love the press version as well for a portable version and I do like the lift and luminate powder too. They're all $12.99. I'm in the shade translucent in this one and I'll put my shades in the other ones down below. So during the hot months, I typically choose the perfect light powder, whether it be the loose or the press because it controls my shine a little bit better than the lift and luminate. If you have drier skin, I think the lift and luminate is a great choice. They both work beautifully underneath my eyes. This has hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, and vitamin E in it. So it's got good ingredients that nourish the skin and it looks beautiful under the eyes and on the face, blurs and smooths. I mean, we have a theme going in this video. I just think any of the number seven powders would be a great drugstore option. They're beautiful on the skin, no matter where you're using them, there's an option for any skin type. If you want something to travel with, you have the press versions. If you're wanting something that, you know, just stays at your vanity, you have the loose option. You really cannot go wrong. Here's another option that I'm not sure will ever leave this list. This is the Nikia Joy Velvet Finishing Powder. This is $38 for 0.7 ounces. There's one shade and it looks like it's got this kind of cream tint to it, but it's translucent. It doesn't alter the shade of your makeup at all. I just think this is one of the most beautiful magical powders out there. Now it says it's a finishing powder, but most people use it like it's a setting powder. It just gives such a soft focus effect and it blurs and airbrushes the pores like no other powder I've used. And you know, I've had comments on my channel and, and I've seen other YouTuber friends have comments on their channels to the effect of, you know, if you can't use an affiliate code, you're not gonna link it. I have no affiliation with Nikia Joy products. She's not part of any affiliate program. She doesn't have one. And I talk about this powder all the time. I love it, it's one of my favorites. I link you straight to her website because it's just a great powder. I mean, that's what we do is give you our favorite products no matter what they are. That's what what we should do. This has nice nourishing ingredients in it. It is scented with natural vanillin. It's not an artificial fragrance. It is gorgeous under the eyes, on the face. I mean, I've had days where my foundation is not quite looking right. So, you know, I'm testing something out and I'm going somewhere and realizing, eh, this is not gonna work. And I will use this and it, it fixes it. I mean, that is how airbrushing it is, yet it doesn't look cakey and it controls my shine. It sets my makeup beautifully. It's just a gorgeous product. And we have another new addition to the list and that is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Loose Powder. This is $5.99 for 0.7 ounces. There's one translucent shade. This is a very finely milled silky powder that blurs the skin beautifully and just gives a, a soft look to the skin, kind of a velvety looking finish, but in a sheer way. It absorbs oil really nicely if you do get shiny in your T-zone. But because of that velvety finish, I, I really didn't think it was gonna control my shine for any amount of time but it really does and it keeps the skin looking nice and soft and natural this is a great buy that i just tried several months ago i wasn't expecting anything out of it i just got it on a whim and ended up really loving this i think this is a great powder for any skin type it looks great on my dry under eye area it looks great on my face I just talked about five beauty products that surprised me. I'll have that video linked here if you haven't seen it. Let me know what top favorite video you wanna see next. I need to update things because products have changed, favorites have changed. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and become part of the family. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.